We need to talk about Rodney Harrison's seriously unprofessional post-game interview of Chris Jones. Honestly, it shocked me. Every year, the NFL has more and more broadcast partners, an increasing number of former players and coaches are getting the opportunity to be part of the pre-game, post-game, and broadcast crews, which I love. And I've been in the booth. I've done every type of analysis that there is, and I know that there could be temptations and pitfalls when that red light comes on to put out a message that the public might not be ready to digest at that moment. But Rodney Harrison, though, he shouldn't be that guy because he's been a part of NBC's coverage for almost 15 years now. And NBC is supposed to be the classy channel serving up football to the morally upstanding crowd that spent the rest of their football viewing hours at church with their families. So what happened? Let's get into it. The Kansas City Chiefs just finished a 23-20 win over the New York Jets in front of none other than Taylor Swift. And I mention it because in case you missed one of the 500 mentions that she was at the game. Now, when Chris Jones went up to go talk to Rodney Harrison, here's what happened. Was Zach better tonight than what you anticipated he would be watching him on tape? And you can be honest. Um, honestly, yeah. uh, if I'm being completely honest, we knew it was going to be a battle. He's continued to get better week in and week out, and he's continued to lead week in and week out. But watching that tape, man, you got to look at this dude and say, oh, he is garbage. Like, we should we should really tear him apart sure. earlier. Like I said, Zach Wilson is special, man. You just got to give the guy time. You know what I mean? Wait, 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 wait. Did you say Zach Wilson is special? I was like, bravo, Chris Jones. Good job. But damn, Rodney. Look, nobody thinks that Zach Wilson is out here tearing up the league. He got replaced by Aaron Rodgers this season. The Jets knew he wasn't going to be the guy in 2023, but he just put together a good enough game to keep the Jets within striking distance against the Super Bowl champions. Was right then and there really the time to be calling this man garbage? And if you're going to call a player garbage, what do you need Chris Jones to agree with you for? You have a platform. Call the man garbage on your own time. Now, Zach Wilson is a young player that has been highly scrutinized, so you would think that people just like Rodney would be happy to see him and get the media and fans off his back for one day. But Harrison wasted a moment with one of the game's best defensive players who earned the right to talk about his team and all that they've done to stay on top and to bring negativity to the set and embarrass himself in front of America. Now, to Harrison's credit, he did reach out and apologize for his comments, but I'm more concerned with how we got to this place in the first place. Everybody has takes that are too hot for broadcast TV, and some networks have an entire sports talk economy built for those takes to take place. Now, if Rodney Harrison wants to step off that NBC desk, do the podcast circuit, hop on radio with me, anything goes. Now, side note, speaking of hot takes, I told the NFL and Jets fans not to give up on Wilson last week, and he made me reister in one week. Now back to business. We can't have people that have reached the pinnacle of broadcast and looking down on these hot take streets and trying to have one foot in both worlds. And we definitely can't have people in the role setting up the game's best athletes to take the bait and end up in some sort of drama that they didn't even want to be a part of. Let that sink in.